Some scary moments at Coney Island Beach today as two young boys were seen struggling in the water. Rescue crews managed to pull one of them to safety, but the search is still on for the other teen. Fox Ice Kendall Green joins us live from the active scene. Kendall, what's the latest? Hey, good evening, Stephen. Natasha. It's a lot more quiet than it was earlier, but just about four hours ago, uh, two young boys were stuck, sucked out into these waters where you see those rocks. You can see just how violent the water is rushing against those rocks, and that's where those kids were stuck. Now, around 1245 today, Harbor Aviation in Peru responded to the water rescue here near West 22nd Street and Surf Avenue. Now, the Parks Department confirmed this is a section of the beach close to swimmers as the currents here are really strong. Now, authorities were using a Zodiac boat with an underwater camera, and you can physically see that boat battling to stay with the current and an on on duty lifeguard was he saw the two teenage boys struggling in the water and were told by witnesses one of them is 14 the other is 15 and three people uh, helped save the 14 year old swimmer now while they removed him from the water he was still conscious alert and in stable condition however he did sustain some cuts from the rocks as he was pulled further from shore uh, the search from the second teen is uh, who's 15 years old is still on and one witness who saw the boys getting into the water warned them beforehand saying it's really dangerous but they ended up getting in the water anyway now, we're told a retired New York City firefighter was among those of uh, some of the beachgoers who jumped in and assisted with that rescue effort. And they tell us they saw the first teen who was on the brink of going under and managed to pull him out. And the second teen, they weren't able to pull out from the water as the search ramps up for that young man right now. Well, the moment we got in, we got in, he was just spent, he was exhausted. Yeah. Right. Then we went out, we got him and then we, did, we went out for the other one right away. We weren't concerned. He was you safe. Are. I seen his head bobbing, so... Right after that, you can see the wave come in, and it took them. I told them three or four times to stop jumping and stop playing in the water if you don't know how to swim. And that was next to me. I, three, I told them three or four times. No, regardless like, of that, you should have been lifeguards here. Oh. And then, regardless of that, of course, it was all life safety. Now, there's a lone single lifeguard stand near this jetty, and it was the only active lifeguard on the mile stretch of beach you see here. And these red flags, they suggest that no swimming, no waiting uh, during the hours of 6, well, between 10 and 6. But that's the latest here from Coney Island. We'll bring you updates as soon as they're made available. But for now, live on Coney Island, Kendall Green, Fox 5 News. Steve and Natasha, back to you. Yeah, those currents are so strong. All right, Kendall, thank you.